What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I just wanted to do a bit of a recap video on my desk PC. We have a lot of new followers on the channel so I want to get them up to date, show them what my daily PC is and this is also my very first custom PC build back when I built this about two to three years ago guys. So this is my very first custom PC ever. I had no experience at all with building custom PCs. I just did a lot of research online, kind of like what I'm trying to do here, providing tutorials and everything on YouTube. That's exactly what I did to get started into PCs. So you can see that I have the desk up and running using MDF wood with screws, glues, and everything like that in place. I made the MDF fake floors, which hide all of the cables. And now you can see that we've painted it with a two-pack gloss black paint. This has also been sealed over to help protect scratches as well. Now this is the first version of the desk where I had the soft tubing in there to begin with. This is about two years ago I'd say and I had all of these LEDs and the fans in there back in the days where I really enjoyed the LEDs. Now I just like a more clean subtle look so I'm happy with the UV green with the blue LEDs to help it glow. I've since taken all of those fans out and replaced them with my Noctura fans for a nice cleaner look. Here's actually how I fill the desk PC. I actually add a tube and a funnel to the inlet of one of my pumps and let the water suck down by gravity. I wait for all of this to fill up and then once the reservoirs stop gaining in levels, I undo one of the fill ports behind them to let a bit of pressure out so that the levels can rise in the reservoirs and that's how I'm able to control what level they fill up to. Personally I do like them about half filled because I actually like seeing the liquid moving in them. If I wanted them fully filled then all I have to do is lift one of them up, open the port, keep filling until they're full and then fill that port up. Here's some of the liquid going around the tubes and this particular version that you're seeing at the moment was actually the desk PC before my final upgrade video which I showed you guys probably three months ago at the start of the year I believe it was. So there has been some slight changes since then for instance some hardware upgrades and of course some new tube bends. I took some of the GPUs out and replaced them with two 1080s for a full upgrade and of course cleaned it up a lot more. I also had a couple of fans that were loose so I got all of that fixed up and I'm going to explain a bit about my desk PC right now so I hope you all enjoy. What's going on guys? I hope you all enjoyed my setup. This desk PC took me around six months to build on and off obviously with a full-time job so that's mostly working on it on weekends and afternoons. The whole the whole front panel of the desk is dedicated to fan control, LED lighting, and we also have a car head unit in place. So what I'm able to do is pair my phone with this and I'm able to receive Bluetooth phone calls, sort of like hands-free in a car, um, through the desk, which is another pretty crazy feature about this desk. Also I have two 12 by 6 inch speakers, one on either side of the desk at the sides. So I'm able to use this two channel car amplifier which is inside the desk to listen to some beats through those speakers. The two four inch speakers which are on top of the desk are also car speakers and they are hooked up to this car head unit down below. But that's not the only audio we have. We have a 7.1 surround sound system with our Logitech gear over there. We also have a Focusrite Scarlett audio interface for our Audio Technica headphones, which are hanging up there. The microphone here is an Audio Technica AT2020. I use that when I'm doing my gameplay and talking to people in TeamSpeak and things like that. And for my general voiceovers, I normally use a Sennheiser MKH 416 shotgun mic. So what has changed since the last update video? Well, we have some new liquid cooling tubes inside. I've rebent this one at the back. It's more hidden underneath now. I also have a new tube route going from the CPU to the first hard drive. And that is because we got a new motherboard, the MSI X99 Carbon Godlike motherboard. We also have four 
sticks of Corsair Vengeance LED RAM and two MSI GTX 1080s in SLI. Down the bottom here, we do have our custom SSD plates, which we made in a previous video a couple of weeks back. And all of our fans are Noctua fans for the best possible cooling potential. We do have UV green and lax lead cables, which is why they are also glowing from the UV light within the system. We are able to control the different colors of the light with our remote system. We can turn it on and off, have them flashing, fading. We can have it going to music and many more options. Yes, the hard drives are liquid cooled. They have a water block on them. This is more for aesthetics. They don't need to be liquid cooled. The only reason I have the water blocks on them is because I've got the tube coming from the CPU and if I didn't have those water blocks there, that tube would have to go all the way around and then into the reservoir. It would have looked a bit untidy. So having the water blocks there is just for aesthetics. It breaks the loop up a bit and just fills up that space a bit more. We are using a Mayhem's UV green dye within the system. And we've also got all of our biocides and kill coils and stuff within the system to stop any growth. Majority of the liquid cooling hardware is from Primo Chill. We've got their flow meter down the bottom there and a few of their ghost compression fittings, which is a nice clean black color, which are uh, suits the theme of the build. The monitors are three LG 27 inch IPS LED monitors. I am looking to upgrade these monitors, but for now these do exactly what I need them to do. I'm not a competitive gamer or anything. I just play for fun, but most of my time is spent video editing. I actually have another monitor in for RMA at the moment. So the main display in the middle will get replaced once that returns. The desk is all custom made. I made this about two years ago, the first version. It had soft tubing in it to begin with, but now I think it's a much cleaner design and I like where this desk is heading and I'm gonna keep it growing throughout my growth on YouTube as well. So I, I sort of see this project as a centerpiece for my YouTube channel and something that I can grow off of as well. The desk is 1.5 meters long, 0.8 meters wide, and the desk sits around 0.77 meters high. The box at its thickest point is 0.22 meters in thickness. This is a strengthened safety glass on top, so I don't have too much worries. If I uh, am in some really serious gameplay, I gotta try and refrain myself from actually smashing down on the glass. Now, I know in my other videos, a lot of people said that the glare might be an issue while gaming, but to be honest, I can't even see the glare reflecting onto the screens. And in your peripheral vision, yes, you can see it, but I do have switches to turn all of the lights off. So it makes it nice and easy and you can have it suit your personal preference if you wish. You can dim the lights, you can fade the lights, you can do whatever you want. You can turn the lights off. You don't have to have any lights on at all. The CPU is an Intel 5960X. We're gonna probably upgrade, not this gen, maybe next gen. We'll just see how everything pans out and what the speeds of the new CPUs look like. I'm after more cores and everything because I like to do video editing and rendering and 3D design um, as part of my hobby and part of YouTube and part of building custom PCs. My operating system is Windows 10 and it is currently stored on an M.2 SSD. So it's really fast read and write speeds on that. And I try and keep my main programs and operating system limited to that SSD and put games and stuff on other SSDs which I have within the desk. In total, there is around 26 terabytes of storage within the desk. I will certainly not be using all 26 terabytes. I have some hard drives in here just for backups so I can keep multiple backups of everything that I have. I also have a lot of videos and editing and raw footage that I like to store as well and I like to keep it because down the track I reuse a lot of my footage for tutorials and things like that. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my 2017 desk setup tour. I'm going to give you guys a whole tour around the actual caravan so you'll be able to see more PCs sitting behind me such as the tank and one of my new ones that I just recently complete last week. Hope you all enjoyed guys. Remember to check out more videos on the channel. Lots of custom PCs, lots of DIY tutorials, water cooling tutorials and reviews. So check them out guys. Let me know what you think down below. I want to know what you guys think about this new desk setup for 2017. Like and subscribe guys and we'll see you all in the next video.